Day honors every American who served in uniform. Your contributions echo throughout history. And to show what I'm talking about, I'd like for Private First Class Deshauna Priest to stand. Hi, come on over here. Come on over here. I'm so excited to have you here, and you look super cute in your uniform. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so she is a member of the Ohio National Guard, which John Legend would be very proud of. He's an Ohio boy. Um, so 12 years ago, when she was in the third grade, she wrote a letter to a World War II veteran. Um, and what did that letter say? Um, that letter was basically thanking him for, for his service and... Um, I said, thank you for saving us from Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> I love how just to the point you were. Yep, yep, thank you for saving us from Hitler. And actually, he wrote me back. Um, he gave me a letter, and uh, the letter was basically describing how he had fought in the Battle of the Bulge. And at the time, he was 83. Wow. Yep, he was 83. And he had sent me a feather along with the letter, and it said... Uh, he was sending me his angels. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what? This show is gonna kill me. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's so sweet. Oh my gosh. Well, that, that she's right. That veteran was Frank Grassberger, who served with the 106th Infantry. Frank fought at the Battle of the Bulge, famously one of the toughest and most significant victories against the Nazis. Uh, he was pulled from a foxhole, nearly frozen. Um, so Frank is an American hero, and and something happened this summer, right? What yeah. was it? So the activities director at his assisted living had reached out to me and had basically was like, um, he shows this letter to everyone, and he actually, all 12 years, he was looking for me. So um, we decided to, what? yes, <laughs> we decided to set up a lunch with him, and only the activities director and his wife knew about it, but no one knew I was in the military because I don't have pictures on my social media. <laughs> so, You're like yeah. one of the few. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we found one. Um, well, we have video of their first meeting. Take a look. Hello. Uh, you're not the girl. Oh, my. Don't make me cry, please. This isn't the girl, is it? This yes. Honest to God. Oh, I love you so much. Yeah. I was trying not to watch that. Um, well, I have some amazing news on this Veterans Day. Frank and his wife, Dee, are dialed in. So you want to oh. turn around? Hi! Hi! What's up, Frank? What's up, Dee? Hi. 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 Welcome to the show! Thank you so much, Frank, for your service. And thank you so much for being so kind to this little one and sending that feather that was that should be in a movie that was so beautiful um so frank why did that letter mean so much to you that you carried around for so long it's because i couldn't believe a nine-year-old could know what a war was like especially when i seen the picture with the helmet with the flowers growing out of it that's what <laughs> really hurt hit me oh it's a beautiful thing that you carried around so deshauna what is it what does it mean that you're wearing the same uniform he wore? Uh, it just gives, like, a sense of confidence and just, uh, it feels good to know that you're doing something for somebody else. That's it's empowering. Big thing, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so, Frank, what would you like every American to remember this Veterans Day? I, I don't know. I, I hope the ones that went through the war like I did, I hope they're, they're, they're safe. Mm. And I pray for them like they pray for me. Oh, my gosh. Well, thank you so much, Frank, for your time and for your service. And, Dee, thank you so much for helping us out, too. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day, all right? <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for sharing. You can go now. I'm not going to make those cry. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Woo. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Everything's fine. I love Frank.